St. Martin's Revitalization Plan. So look, there's nothing wrong with a small congregation. Many enjoy the closeness it affords and the more intimate feeling. But there are downsides, such as lesser financial strength. Let's think big for a moment. What if this was St. Martin's? Impossible, you say? Not so. Here is a plan toward achieving this. Our case study will be the band KISS. Despite music of debatable quality, they have withstood the years and remain popular, still drawing large crowds. To emulate their success, we can learn a lot from studying their techniques. I know, I know. Where do we start? How can we do this? Well, one step at a time. First, the hardware. A dramatic entrance sets the tone. Our processional will be replaced by Emmy, the deacon, and the lay minister being lowered into the sanctuary. Likewise, we need hydraulics under the organ so it can be raised and lowered for dramatic effect during the service. Behind the organ will be where the pyrotechnics are located. For the gospel reading, Emmy will be swung to the center of the nave. The gospel will be read. And to save time returning to the altar, Emmy will zip line back. It is suggested that after the gospel is read, that fire be shot out from the top of the cross for dramatic effect. During an appropriate reading, blood coming out of Emmy's mouth would be a dramatic visual. Lasers and light beams add to the effect. They also make for a dramatic way to end the service and leave everybody feeling energized and good. As does a confetti blower. Imagine this being the new norm at 10 o'clock. We will bury the bridge. We will dry up Willow Creek. We will out harvest the harvest. I realize you probably still might be a little skeptical. So let's see what putting the plan into action would look like. Initially, we would modify St. Martin's. The pyrotechnics would be beside the organ. Hydraulic lifts under the organ would raise and lower Adam as he plays. The cross would be equipped to shoot out flames at strategic moments. Due to space limitations, Emmy would be raised over the congregation in a hydraulic lift bucket. But it would not be too hard to picture the day when we would move to a larger venue Emmy could then be swung out properly for the gospel reading. A big screen would project the service in the background. So what do you say, St. Martins? Shall we go for it?